imagine a world of sorrow where the people are dark and there's no happiness to be found for miles. Now imagine a world of joy where people greet you as a friend and smiles are worn much like clothing. Which world do you want to live in? Not too long ago, I found out about the awesome power of smiling. Smiling can save your life, help you look your best, and maximize potential happiness. Now don't be... Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't smiling just making the corners of your mouth go up? Yes, I guess, but it's more than that. It's an intense, intensely contagious, cross-cultural expression of joy that can increase the happiness in a smile's life tenfold. The thing is, it doesn't really matter if you feel like smiling or what kind of mood you're in when you smile. The thing is, if, you, if your smile is genuine, you receive benefits beyond anything you could have imagined. In addition to his theory on evolution, Charles Darwin, evolution in the origin of species, species Charles Darwin was also well known for his, for his facial feedback response theory, developed in 1872. His theory states that the act of smiling itself actually makes us feel good, as opposed to smiling as a result of feeling good. Next time you're feeling down, Try putting on a smile and see what happens. A very interesting study done at Wayne State University by Ernest Abel and Michael Kruger looked into the Major League Baseball photos from players from the pre-1950s. The researchers found that the wider a smile a player had in his photo, the longer he lived to be. The researchers found that players with no smile lived an average of 73 years, while those grinning from ear to ear lived an average of almost 80 years. Researchers concluded that just smiling for a photo was correlated with hundreds of players living up to seven years longer, this was indeed a valid study and should be studied for the depths. This got me very curious about smiles. I wondered if I could make my own life longer by just smiling. Now don't be frightened and think, oh no, I didn't smile for my last yearbook photo. I won't live as long, because there's always time to change. Have you found that when someone comes into a room smiling, the room becomes brighter? The mood seems to change for the better, and you begin smiling too? A recent study done at Uppsala University in Sweden found that it's nearly impossible to frown when looking at one with someone who smiles. You ask why? Because smiling is evolutionarily contagious and it suppresses the muscles we usually have in our facial muscles. Think about it this way. Smiling is a cause and symptom of happiness. A remarkable study done at Harvard University and University of California studied how happiness spreads through our social networks. The researchers found that a friend living close by has a 25% higher chance of being influenced by your happiness and becoming happy themselves. A spouse has an 8% chance and a next door neighbor has up to 34% chance of becoming happy themselves. What we don't realize is that our happiness can spread to three times down the social networking chain. We all have the power to smile bred deep down in us. Using new, high-tech, ultrasound technology, we found that babies are actually found to smile in the womb. Even blind babies smile, proving that they aren't just mimicking their parents' pleased expressions, but that, it, that smiling is actually a universally correct expression of pleasure. A study conducted by Paul Ettman, one of the world's most famous facial expression researchers, um, found that smiles are a symbol of joy in many different societies. He looked at the poor tribe, who was completely different, who was completely disconnected from Western culture, and found that they had smiling artwork and sculptures, just like the rest of the world. Again, proving that smiling is not, is that smiling is a universal expression of joy and satisfaction. And if that's not enough, smiling can actually make you make look good in the eyes of others. Smiling people appear more confident and attractive. We want to be with someone who smiles. And know, her, and know that person, and subconsciously, we want to know why they're happy. British researchers doing a study on the amount of brain stimulation a smile receives, as opposed to other forms of stimulation, found that smiling is as stimulating as up to 2,000 bars of chocolate. The same study found that smiling can produce the same amount of brain stimulation as up to 25 grand. Again, this is just one smile. And unlike lots of chocolate, lots of smiling can actually make you healthier. Smiling can help reduce the level of stress-enhancing hormones, increase the level of mood-enhancing hormones, 
and decrease blood pressure. Smiling is even shown to help your immune system work better. So whenever you want to look great, stay positive, reduce stress, or feel as if you just had a whole stack of high quality chocolate, smile.